It has occurred to me that some of you might believe that I like working on cars. Well, it's not true. I don't like working on cars at all. I hate getting covered in grease. But unfortunately, it's life. You have to uh, do what you can do. I mean, I can't afford to pay anyone to do any work on my cars. They charge like wounded bulls. And every time I've had any work done on the car in the past, 75% uh, of the time, they bugger it. I've got to do it myself again anyway. And it's just like uh, maintaining a house or something like that. So here we are again, back with our beautiful 300E, and uh, we have a water leak, which is a real pain. And I'll describe it to you, uh, the, the problem and the symptoms and what I've got to do. I shall do that now. Well, I had a water leak and it was falling down about here on the engine block. And uh, I removed the plastic cover or shroud from underneath the car and uh, uh, my wife drives this car regularly and when she got home I'd uh, see where the water was dripping and uh, you cannot see up behind the water pump at all you can't see up behind it from under the car uh, it's down here oh, well, it's got the thermostat on the top here it's down under there but the water leaks down here and what I assume is happening that the uh, bearing seal's gone on the water pump and it's leaking and running back to the frame of the car along the engine block and dripping down there. And let's hope my theory is correct. I'm also basing the theory on the fact that uh, uh, it only leaks when the engine's running. That's a good indication. You shut the engine down, no leak. If it was leaking from a radiator hose or something like that, they're under pressure and you'd feel the leak around here. So what I'm going to do now is replace the water pump. I've already, whoops, hit me head. I've already disconnected the hose down here off the lower of the radiator. I'll disconnect the hoses over here. I'll unclip the shroud and push that back over the fan and lift the radiator out. On each side of the shroud there's a clip, one down here and the clip over here and we just take them off, lift it up and push it back. As you can see I've got the shroud off and just put it over the fan. I've disconnected these hoses here. I'm going to disconnect this uh, piece for the air intake to the uh, air filter which I've already taken off over there. Just a screw there and uh, there's a clip that holds the radiator in, whoops, there and a clip that holds the radiator in there next uh, I get a 19mm spanner, I put a drain tray underneath the car and I disconnect the um, automatic transmission lines here and down the bottom there so I'm going to do that, 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 that and pull the radiator out, okay also disconnect a little return hose at the top, like that. Right, underneath the car you're going to have to undo this nut here. It's holding a, one of the hose lines from the transmission to the bottom of the uh, radiator. Looks like a, it's a, I think it's a 10 mil, yeah, 10 mil nut. So we do that, disconnect the pipe underneath the radiator and then hopefully we should be able to just pull it out well, there's the radiator out, and you think that would be easy, wouldn't you? But uh, getting the radiator past this shroudy bloody thing is a pain in the rear end. You've got to make sure you get those clips out of the way down the bottom, so you're sort of pushing them, pushing them out of the way at the same time. My suggestion at this time is to take a mental note of which way the fan bolts running. Uh, preferably make a little diagram so you know how to put the belt back on again. All cars are different depending on uh, what they have, whether they've got uh, hydraulic suspension, uh, air conditioning or not. So uh, worthy of 
making a little note before you pull it out. Right, there's the belt tensioner here. It takes a 13mm socket. You turn it anti-clockwise, I can turn it with my finger, and lift the belt off, disconnect it off the power steering and the water pump. And uh, I'll carry on. Next I'm going to remove the uh, thermostat, 10mm nuts, uh, because the new pump doesn't come with one, you have to use the old one. And on the side down here, the pipe is a 10mm nut, I'll undo that and take this pipe out. It's a bit of a bugger, well it's a bit of a bugger, it's nearly impossible to get at the re retaining bolts for the water pump. Uh, I think in the book it says unbolt the power steering pump and drop it to one side. So we'll see how we go. I've taken the Allen head bolt out of there, that's probably the easiest. And uh, I undid the uh, bolt off the dipstick just so I can move it around a bit to try and get it the one down yonder down there. So the one underneath the bloody thing is going to be the hardest. There's one directly under there you can't see it all. So I'll just keep ploughing on. Right, I took the uh, water pump pulley off. I had to take it off anyway to uh, fit on the new pump. I still got a lever this pipe out of here once I get to it. Um, I and um, an Allen head bolt there. But as you can see, it's near impossible to get the other bolts. I've undone the power steering unit bolt there bolt at the back and there's another one down yonder I have the car up on a on a stand and uh, I'm just uh, unbolting the air conditioner compressor down the bottom I don't know if you can see it properly that's the air conditioner compressor there's a bolt there bolt there one up here and one up yonder here where I got my finger I've, I've just undone three I've just got one to go and then I'll just lower this and swing it out of the way and get the other bolt on, up on the power steering which I've already loosened but I've got to pull it out and I've got to drop the power steering and the air compressor out of the way leaving the hoses on of course Right I've moved the uh, power steering pump and got it out of the way you have to take the pulley off to get at the bolt at the back you have to go underneath the car to undo the nuts at the back on this side and it's going to be fun putting it back together because uh, you do it by feel, you can't actually see anything. Another hassle is these uh, air conditioner pipes are in the way. The compressor won't drop down because behind here there's a bracket with two Allen head screws on it. I'll try and highlight it. There, you can see one Allen head screw down there, there's another one lower than that so I've got to undo those two things and then drop the air conditioner so I can uh, get it out of the way and get these pipes out of the way so I can get in there under there to get at the screws well I must say this job is a bastard all they say in the book is uh, you know release the tensioner and all this sort of thing loosen off the power steering loosen off the uh, air compressor down there for the air conditioning um, but you just still can't get at those bloody bolts and the one under here so what I've done now I've taken off the fan uh, for the engine and I've taken out the, uh, the tensioner fitted in here for the belt there's a tensioner down there and uh, so now I can get at the bolt under here there where my finger is if you can see it and uh, but we've got two more bolts on the other side there's a bracket there that's uh, refusing to come out I sheared off a Allen key trying to undo the bolts that are holding these pipes and if I can get these pipes out of the way I should be able to get the bolts at the back here. It's just a matter of perseverance. I think I'll have a smoke break. Well, I've finally uh, sprung the water pump. 
and I tell you what, getting at these bolts on the bloody water pump is near impossible. Back to being a contortionist again, and a whole lot of different fittings and everything to get them out. In the end, I put a pinch bar on these bloody, uh, what do they call them, air conditioner lines, and bent them out of the way a bit just so I can get in. Uh, took off the booster here so I can get this out. So a bit of luck, it should come out now. Anyway, it's off. Now, looking at the underside of the pump, see there's a hole here, and I'd say that's where it's been leaking from because the seal of the bearing has gone and the water runs through and out that hole. Now, I assume this pump's been here for 26 years and uh, hopefully the next pump stays there for another 26 because I do not want to do this job again. Okay, give the uh, surface where the pump goes on the engine a bit of a, a, a clean up uh, before we put the pump back on and to prove that I do disconnect the battery terminal especially when there's wires hanging everywhere here uh, I do, see? Well I'm putting it all back together I've got the pump back on power steering the air compressor down the bottom put the pulleys back and uh, got the belt on all I've got to do is throw the fan on and put the radiator back I suppose you thought I didn't enjoy myself well, it was 100% correct, I didn't enjoy myself at all. It took all day to do that job, and what I learned from it is don't bother dropping the air conditioner at all, just drop your power steering unit, pull off the tensioner for the belt, and try your luck from there. I don't think pulling the air conditioner off would make any difference whatsoever. Okay, see you next time.